one of the best quick hiking stock plays in the game. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. For so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about um, a play that I just stumbled into. I looked at it a couple times, um, and then I started labbing it, and it's a really good play. And it is the Rams single back double. And what's great about this particular play is you run it stock. You don't have to go ahead and make any adjustments. Uh, this this deep this particular play is pretty much going to shred any defense in the game uh, and it will allow you to set your opponent up for a one play touchdown opportunity uh, with this particular play so I want to go ahead and show you this is in the Rams it's also in the Eagles the Cowboys the uh, Texans Bengals and the Falcons so if you use those particular four uh, those particular books you can find this play too and out of the single back doubles so I usually try to set this as one of my set audibles because I do like to jump into this play so what makes this play tick is the running back route underneath is because when you throw that route as he turns up, you get an automatic boost to five yards or more. So if this, his defenders actually float up in coverage, they're not going to be in position to go ahead and take this play out. So it's like an easy five or six yards you can get underneath against anybody that's, that's playing any kind of uh, coverage against you. So zone coverages, this is really going to blow it up. Now you get a little block shed right there against my line. But as you can see, uh, that route is just going to get you a good five or six yards or more. And I'm playing with the worst running back on this team. Now you've also, against cover two, you've got the streak route. And then you've got this little crossing route uh, by the tight end that's going to get into the zone, uh, zone coverages. The outsides are more against cover three, cover four, uh, because they're actually going to get covered up. Uh, but you're just going to go and check it down to these little areas and really frustrate your opponent. Now I'm going against random cover threes, um, and basically what you can do is, uh, I like to fade up my wide receiver if I'm showing cover three or, or basically a, a man coverage type of look. And really what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that route underneath, and as you can see cover three, it opens up even more. And I'm also looking off to the right uh, with my defender off to the right. So I want to show this to you in instant replay, just so you can see my reads against cover three. So it's a, C, it's a three high shell, I've got a safety in the middle. Basically, what I'm going to look to is this guy right here, and if this guy floats over uh, to take away that out route, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and drop it down to this route, and you can see nobody's in the area, and I'm going to go ahead and get an easy 10-yard completion with that. Now, if this defender right here doesn't slide over to this out route, I'm going to throw the out route because he's always going to get good inside position and that's going to turn into a good 15 yard gain if I just go ahead and throw the ball to the sideline and do possession catch uh, to keep it in bounds. So we're going to go ahead and take Cooks, put him on a streak and you can see right here if I threw that a little bit earlier his momentum would have carried up. Go ahead fade up Cooks and this is what I'm talking about on the sideline is that you can get that opportunity if the defender doesn't float out there. So this is going to force your opponent to go ahead uh, and play both sides of the field. And what's cool about it is you've got this other deep comeback route on the back end side. So it, this is essentially going to annihilate cover three. Now he's probably going to have to use this running back route and you'll have to look to a different route from there. But uh, cover four drop will pretty much lock this particular play up. So if you do run into someone who runs, runs a lot of cover four, um, you're probably going to have to just check it down underneath uh, and look to jump into a different play to go and hit him over the top. Now if he plays cover four palms, you're going to get more matching principles. So those guys are going to get better separation. And you're also going to have these deep comeback routes that you can hit. So I would stay with cover four, uh, uh, basically cover four drop. It's just a, it's a superior coverage. Uh, but you can see if he goes into, into palm situation in terms of match, matching principle of man coverage, and this is where you're really going to be able to beat this guy up um, on the outside. You're pretty much going to choose almost any route except for the fly route. That's going to be the only route that probably won't be, will be available. So basically with man blitzers, 
that out route should be able to get you a pretty good separation and get a nice play against your opponent. Uh, so he'll have to make, make some kind of a manual adjustment off to that side, um, uh, or you're going to basically get easy completions against him unless he presses. Now, if he does press, uh, one of the things you could do is you could take Cooks's route and put him on um, on a, uh, a fade route, and he should probably get over over top the coverage and give you an opportunity for a huge play. So you can see right there, I was able to go ahead and do that, even though I had a single high safety in that area. Uh, but that's, that's another way that you can go in and attack your opponent. You've also got the deep comeback route. You're probably not going to be able to get that off just because that route is a little bit funkier. It takes a little bit more time to develop um, with man blitzing. Uh, and this little crossing route by the, by the, uh, the tight end uh, is actually another route that you can throw to too because he's the way his route is designed it actually gets fairly good separation now that's user territory so uh, basically a lot of times it's going to happen is an opponent is going to be able to go ahead and get that uh, so you, you you can pretty much attack i would probably look off to the right there's a little bit more of a guaranteed route and maybe set him up with another play but uh, this is a good play to go and jump into is it the best play in the game uh, probably not you know what i mean it's it's Probably not the best play, but it's a it's a pretty damn good play. And you know, if you get an opportunity that you can get a huge play like that, where you can get an opportunity to go down the middle of the field, that's fine. Uh, so once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I'll be rolling um, more plays and tips and strategies to help you game take your game to the next level. This will be a scheme I'll be playing with because I, I got the Rams as one of my playbooks. I'll be using to draft champions and, and some live gameplay. So thank you for your support. Until next time.